What's up guys, Corbin Phillips here, coming with another video. Uh, this is my last video in preparation for the Northwest Amateur Championships, which is gonna be held at the Fort Silicon Disc Golf Course. Uh, today I'm playing the uh, Pro 27 layout. Uh, this layout is kind of a safari version because we're using uh, all three courses, Raymond Seek, Southeast and Northwest, uh, and some alts. Tee pads, uh, mixing up baskets, really fun course. Um, so I'm excited to see how it goes and get ready for the Northwest Championship. All right, and we are here on hole one. Uh, this is a pretty tough hole. It's a narrow gap, but just kind of straight shot down and ends a little bit to the right. Uh, I'm trying uh, both shots here, uh, both the forehand and the backhand. I like the forehand and that's what I'll do at the tournament. Uh, I think I can get a little further down too for more manageable birdie look, but uh, this isn't bad circle two look right here. And I'm able to return to uh, save the par, even off the uh, the big miss from circle two. And we're going to hole two. Uh, this one is pretty dang far. I think it's like 480 with a little bit downhill. There's a mando you gotta hit. Um, and I am getting, you know, another circle two look where I can kind of run it. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely happy with a three on this hole. Uh, if I could sneak a two, that'd be pretty awesome. And the three is grabbed, and I'm moving on to hole three of the Pro 27. Uh, this one you probably saw in the last video. Uh, it's a really, really tough par three. It used to be a par four. Um, I'm throwing it again just because you can always use the practice. I actually hit that uh, light pole, which is crazy, the very top of it. So it's looking like it's actually going to push all the way to the other side. But I land in the road, so I got to go from the drop zone. Uh, and throw it just a little bit too high. I was trying to throw it high so it'd fade really hard back, but just went too high and it grabbed the branch. Uh, and I'm probably gonna grab a four here. Uh, going with both approach shots to see which I like more, the forehand or the backhand. And I really like that backhand, just the floaty Annie look. Um, but yeah, I uh, grabbed the four, which isn't terrible on this hole. You can actually get caught up in a lot. And actually, I guess it's a five because I got the ugly stroke, but not a big deal. Uh, hole four here. This is just the normal uh, hole 10 on Southeast. So I try a couple shots here, um, seeing what I like. And uh, this is where my pure ends up, which I'm liking a lot. I'm able to give it a decent run through these trees here from uh, about 30, 35 out and cash the second one, which is a uh, Good confidence booster. Uh, really glad that they decided to go with the Pro 27 for that third round of this AmChamps tournament um, because Southeast and Raise 9 are actually going away here pretty soon. Uh, so really glad that we're able to use these courses as much as possible. But I also look forward to still playing at Northwest a lot. And it sounds like they're trying to make another course at the golf course uh, nearby. Uh, yeah, this hole is another bomber, one of the safari type holes where uh, we're going from hole 12 steep pad over to a different basket. Uh, this one is like 430-ish. Um, I'm trying to show the screen here that I threw like I think 412 off my tee shot or <laughs> something like that, but it didn't really come out. But uh, yeah, it was a pretty solid drive and uh, missed everything, so I'm in the clean for a decent run and uh, not quite able to connect on the first uh, or the second, but really easy three, which I'm definitely happy with on this hole. Uh, most advanced players will be grabbing a three or worse. And uh, it looks like the chains got a little caught up, so I had to fix that, even though it's really not that big of a deal. But, you know, sometimes OCD gets ya. I'm glad I at least made the putt because that would have been really sad if I fixed the chain and missed it. <laughs> but moving on to the next hole, uh, we're on hole seven of the uh, Pro 27 layout. 
Uh, try the backhand here, uh, then the forehand. I really like the forehand play more. Uh, it felt like maybe a little bit of a stretch to get the distance, but I think I can actually grab it now. Um, it's not as far as I thought. Didn't even have a perfect forehand shot, and I'm still able to run it, um, give it a chance for two. But again, threes are, are not bad. As long as I'm not grabbing bogeys, I'm, I'm happy. All right, hole eight. Um, this is the normal hole 13 on Southeast. Uh, just straight down there and to the left. Uh, I try a couple of different shots on this one. Um, really happy with, with my felon uh, over stable fairway. I'm definitely gonna throw this in the tournament for the Southeast course and the Pro 27. Um, to just nail it straight down there and then have a little bit of finish. Um, Hole nine is another safari style layout. This tee pad isn't actually even in use right now, um, but we're just going way down to, I believe five's basket, five or six, something like that. Um, this is another one of those crazy par threes, super long, lots of trees. Um, so I actually throw up shots from both of my lies. I did two tee shots just to kind of get a feel for it. One was if it's not as windy, one is if it's more windy. Um, and able to grab the three, which is, which is great. Um, well, at least on my first butt. <laughs> and here's another safari layout hole. I'm loving these safari type holes just because you get to mix things up a little bit. Um, makes things a little more challenging. But yeah, this shot is really just a forehand. Um, I've never had any uh, any success doing it any other way. But I'm able to get down a little bit and uh, at least have an up shot. I uh, kind of shank my up shot, so it puts me in the tree, not really having a putt, but able to sink this one to still get the four. And yet another safari hole. Uh, but this one's really fun. I think it's 415 uphill, so it's a bomber. But again, you know, have a, a long run at it, at least give it a chance for two. Um, I think if I if I have a great drive, I'll, I'll be circle one on this, but you know, I'm fine with circle two. And another three. Uh, this hole's fun because uh, this is the normal hole nine on Southeast, but at a further back tee pad, um, which really adds a lot more to the hole. Um, some more trees are engaged. There's more wind, it's a little more open. It's not just a, a putter that you're throwing up there for an easy two. Um, but my my Raptor, my Yuli Raptor is able to get down there. So I'm feeling good about that. If I can grab this two, I'll be really happy in the tournament. And I land it on top of the uh, basket on this one and then chain out on the second. And I'm frustrated, so of course I throw my driver, which is probably not gonna go in. <laughs> but I get the three. Um, this is Southeast hole one, just the normal hole. Um, you guys have seen this hole many times before. It's a fun one. I'm able to get actually pretty far down with my ESP nuke. Uh, I've been able to get some good flex lines out of this. So if I can get an easy three on here, I am gonna be very happy during the tournament. Bummer. All right, and I actually play from the wrong tee pad on this hole. Uh, yeah, they actually took down a ton of the signs for the Pro 27 layout. They had signs up on every hole so was, you could follow along. I don't know why they took them down, um, but it made it kind of a bummer for practicing um, because I didn't really know where to go. So. Hoping those uh, are up here pretty soon so I can get another practice round in before the tournament. Um, but yeah, uh, this hole's really fun. Uh, another safari hole, uh, really hard par three, but if you can grab a par, you're, you're sitting really good. And I do just that, um, really easy par putt. And because we're missing the signs, I actually miss a hole. I was supposed to play Northwest one. I played that hole plenty of times, so I'm not too worried about it, but it would have been nice to, uh, to know during the round. Um, yeah, and I'm able to get this forehand pretty far down with the Heimberg Destroyer, uh, make the second putt, which is good. 
Um, and I guess I didn't do the tap in, but that's fine. Um, and yeah, hole five, this is just the normal Northwest five. Uh, it's honestly a pretty challenging par four. You can get caught up on a lot, and so it's a really tough birdie, but if you can grab it, you're, you're gonna grab a stroke on most people, especially in MA1. Um, and this was actually the first time I grabbed the three, at least on my first putt. So that was, that was pretty cool. Hopefully I can uh, do that during the tournament. Oh, and I, I guess I really wanted this one, so I uh, put it again. <laughs> uh, but yeah, grabbing that three would be great. All right, this is again, normal Northwest six. I think all of the remaining holes are just normal holes on the Northwest course, uh, which I've played plenty of times, but still good to get some practice in before the tournament, especially with, you know, discs are always rotating the bag and always learning new shots. So it's good to, to do it with my current bag. Uh, and I, uh, I guess I get caught up on some tree here off my forehand tee shot, but able to get a good up shot to get the easy three. Northwest eight, this is a fun one. Uh, it's like a slight flex line, which uh, I do with my felon and I'm really happy with it. Uh, it catches a little bit of shrubbery at the end, but still running it and I'm able to put it in. Uh, this is another one that is a great two to grab if you can. Um, you can get some big score separation. And uh, this is, uh, I'm supposed to just be throwing from Northwest 9, just the regular tee pad, but I do a different tee pad because there's some like alt number sign on it, which is a much harder hole, but it was kind of a cool hole, so it was fun, but not gonna be doing that during the tournament. Northwest 10. Um, I've kind of been struggling with this hole lately, so I decided to just do the layup play. Um, I actually just throw my pure, which is a throwing putter, um, just straight down, so then I can have a, a good upshot, but I actually leave it a little left, which puts me in a funky situation, so it kind of defeated the purpose of what I was trying to do there. Um, but I'm able to get it down uh, pretty close to the basket, so I at least have a putt for the three. Ooh, and it doesn't quite fall. Uh, kind of a bummer, but I think if I just dial in that tee shot with uh, the pure, I'll be sitting pretty good for an easy three. 15 is a fun hole. This is a par four, um, and it's not actually that long. So, um, you know, if I have a decent drive, I can give it a long run like this. I think I can get a further drive than this too to have it be a little more manageable on the run. Uh, if I could grab this eagle, that would be super cool, but a birdie is always great, too. And I do grab the birdie, move on to Northwest 16. Uh, I'm throwing my felon again on this hole. I've really been liking this disc. It's funny, it says it's only a three glide, but it really doesn't fly like that for me. Um, I think those flight numbers might be a little bit deceiving um, because I'm able to bomb it just as far or further than most of my fairways. Um, and I'm able to grab the three, get a par here. Um, a two would be nice, but again, just trying to stay as few bogeys as possible. 17 is fun, because it's just open, so you can just rip one down there. Uh, I think it's like 460 or something, so it's, it's a pretty tough two to grab. Um, really, this is all I can hope for to get, you know, 400 feet down there ish and give it a long run um, if i can get a really good rip and chuck it 430 um, and actually get through the trees that would be sweet have a, a real look at it but i'm happy with the three hole 18 man this one's kind of been my nemesis for a while now but i think i'm starting to finally figure it out um, just dialing in that flex forehand with a overstable disc and I grabbed a three, so, you know, able to finish out pretty strong, happy with the round. All right, guys, just finished up the Pro 27 layout, I think. Uh, a little frustrating not knowing if I was actually playing the right holes or not, just because it wasn't marked very well. Uh, halfway through, I found all of the T signs for the 27 layout, uh, just on the side for the second half. 
So I did what I could, I did what I think was right, and with what I played, I'm feeling really confident, happy with how it went. Uh, if you like this video, please leave a like, and if you want to see more, subscribe. We are posting weekly disc golf content, and we'll see you on the next one.